Have you ever checked into a hotel late at night only to wake up to a chilling silence? Simran Hastings found himself in the isolated town of Oklahoma one evening. All he wanted was a night's rest, so he checked into a modest hotel, the only sign of life in the town. The lobby was dim and deserted, save for the night clerk, a lanky man who gave him his key with a whispered, good night. The town was silent, oddity that Simran shrugged off as he made his way to his room. The room was clean and inviting. Dropping his bag and slipping off his shoes, he fell into the bed. As he lay there, a feeling of unease crept over him. The silence of the town seemed to pervade the room, wrapping around him like an icy shroud. Dismissing the feeling as fatigue, he closed his eyes. The silence of the town, his only lullaby. As Simran drifted into sleep, little did he know of the eerie silence that awaited him. Have you ever woken up to a world that seemed different from what you remember? That's precisely what befell Simran Hastings, a salesman from Connecticut, lodged in a small hotel in Oklahoma. The morning silence was eerily unsettling. The usual sounds of his routine seemed to reverberate in the emptiness. As he left his room, he was met with a deserted lobby that felt alien. The walls, previously a soothing cream shade, now had a colder hue. The silence that he had earlier dismissed now unsettled him. Hello, is anyone here? His voice echoed, but there was no answer. The silence felt alarming, the absence of life palpable. He reached the exit, but the door was locked. The key turned uselessly. Frustrated, he rattled the door and low rumbling echoed. Suddenly, the floor began to crack splitting the tiles apart. Terrified, Simran dropped his bag and dashed for a door on the opposite side, pulling at the handle with a racing heart. With a strong push, he opened, stumbling into the unanticipated. The floor beneath him began to crack and a rumbling sound filled the air. The world he knew was apart and he was in the center of it. What if your only escape from an eerie situation led you straight into the eye of a storm? This is where our protagonist, Simran Hastings, finds himself. A salesman from Connecticut, stuck in an isolated hotel in Oklahoma. As the ground quivers beneath him, he makes a desperate dash for it. He battles to open a door, which finally gives way and he lands outside. But instead of tranquility, he is met with a raging storm. His eyes dart around, seeking his car, his escape, but it's gone. The desolate parking lot is all that's left. His pulse races as he takes in the darkening sky and the forming tornado. Simran sprints across the empty lot, his face stung by the wind and rain. He spots a storm cellar and heads for it, the tornado closing in. The world around him is tumultuous, yet eerily deserted. The town seems to have vanished into the storm. Reaching the cellar, his wet fingers slip on the handle. With a surge of strength, he yanks it open, plunging into the cellar below. As the storm howls and rages around him, Simran throws himself into the dark cellar. What if you found yourself in a different time period with no idea how you got there? Picture Simran Hastings, a salesman from Connecticut who found himself in such a situation. Seeking shelter in a storm cellar from an imminent tornado, he found himself amidst strangers. Their attire, simple and homespun, was a stark contrast to Simran's modern clothing. No digital watches, no synthetic fabrics. They seemed like they belonged to a different era. As he looked around, he saw faces filled with fear, waiting for the storm to pass. Where are all the cars? he asked, hoping to find familiarity. What are cars? A woman responded, confusion lacing her voice. The words shook Simran, his heart pounding with the realization that he had traveled back in time. What year is it? He asked, his a whisper. Why, it's 1882, she replied, her eyes wide. It's 1882, the woman yelled as a cold chill ran down Simran, Simran's spine. As the words echoed, Simran began to pray, pressed against the cellar wall. What would you do if you found yourself facing an impending doom with no way out? Simran confronted this dilemma, trapped in a cellar as an ominous storm ascended. He was a stranger in the small, rugged town of Nipton, caught in the terrifying grip of a monstrous tornado. The cellar, a dim refuge, was filled with the town's inhabitants, 
their faces reflecting fear and acceptance, the simplicity of their lives etched in their weary expressions. The storm outside was a symphony of terror, its growing intensity commanding absolute attention. The townsfolk, composed of humble farmers and shopkeepers, had reluctantly welcomed him into their community. Simran felt a strange camaraderie with them, their fates inextricably linked by the unpredictable moods of nature. With a growing sense of solidarity, he joined them in prayer. His plea was for their safety, a hopeful wish for their deliverance from the merciless storm. He prayed for a way back to his own time, back to modern-day Connecticut. As the tempest roared, Simran pondered on predicament, uncertain if he would ever escape the clutches of 1882. What do you think, dear listener? Which ending would you like Ms. Perkins to create for you? Thank you for watching our video. Simran's journey is far from over, and we appreciate your company on this thrilling ride. If you enjoyed this story, please give us a like. Your support means the world to us. Simran's predicament is one of time, terror and camaraderie. He's a stranger in a strange land, trapped in the past. Don't forget to subscribe for more thrilling tales. We will continue to unravel Simran's fate and the fate of the townsfolk of Nipton. Will they survive the storm? Can Simran find his way back to the present? Or will they all become victims of the impending doom? Every storm runs out of rain but not every tale has a happy ending. See you in the next video.